you all for coming out this morning to celebrate Black History Month. And we all know that this would not be possible without the support of our leadership team. And that includes senior leadership down to the operations supervisor. So we just want to say thank you from the workforce for what you've done to make this day possible. And so um, what I'd like to do is introduce Mr. Terry Allen. And he has the honor of introducing our guest speaker of today. So with that, Mr. Allen. The Tuskegee Airmen delivered hundreds and hundreds of combat missions and delivered the pilots back with little or no losses. And today we get to talk to someone who flew 26 of those combat missions. And if you've ever seen a war movie, you know that surviving that is, is a, has God's hand in it anyway. It is a miracle. And he was a member of the famous 332nd. So please help me welcome Calvin Spann. Airman Lieutenant Calvin Spann. I'm Calvin Spann. I'm one of the original Tuskegee Airmen, and I flew 26 combat missions in Europe as a bomb, as a, pilot, a fighter pilot escort for the bombers. Uh, I was inspired uh, to uh, to learn how to fly because I lived in a near a small airport in New Jersey on the Hudson River. It's called Teterbury Airport. And uh, I used to, planes used to take off and fly right over my house. I made a vow to myself at the time that uh, when I got old enough, I would learn how to fly. And, but in order to get into the Army Air Corps at that time, I was my last year of high school, uh, I had to take a two-year college equivalency test Fortunate for me, I wasn't, uh, I was pretty good in my math and science, so I was able to pass that test. We started off with a class of uh, over 100, and only 30 of you would get through flight school and graduate. That, them told us that uh, because we were black, that we couldn't learn to fly, and if we learned how to fly, we wouldn't fight. It turned into an inspirational thing for me and many other guys that uh, we'll show them. And by the grace of God, we were able to show them with the good commander, B.O. Davis, from the Pentagon. There were some other missions we flew that we called the uh, reconnaissance missions. And those missions we'd fly in around the munition factories and airfields. And we'd be right over the treetops. And you knew you were up there when you could see the farmers shaking his pitchfork at you <laughs> and another farmer raising his shotgun at you and trying to hit you. So you know you were deep in German territory. We did have a good relationship with the bomber pilots. Uh, sometimes you would, after you flew so many missions, you'd get an opportunity to have what they call a rest period. And we'd go back to Naples to rest camp for a couple of weeks and then we'd meet some of the bomber pilots in town. And they'd say, oh, you guys, the Red Tails, boy, you guys are great. Because one of the most distasteful things that ever happened to me, uh, I volunteered to go and fight for my country. And I'm on a Pullman train when I leave Newark and, uh, in my uh, street clothes. And I'm able to sit in first class, eat first class. But uh, after I passed Washington, D.C., I had to, uh, the Pullman Porter came over to me and said, look, son, uh, we're past Washington, D.C., and we're in the, going in the so-called deep south, he said, and uh, we're in the south now, and if they see you sitting up in a white uh, dining car, uh, somebody may take a shot at you. That was my biggest disappointment in the beginning of my career as a Tuskegee Airman. And uh, of course, I let him let me sit where he told me and pull the curtain around me. And I'm here to be able to talk about it today. <laughs> My daddy was in one of those bomber crews that you protected. He came home, and I was born nine and, nine and a half months later. So I want to give you a personal thank you. <laughs> the state of Texas House of Representatives. This certifies that the Texas flag herewith presented on your Encore family 
was flown on the capital of the sovereign state of Texas to Lieutenant Calvin Spann. And not only did it fly, it also flew over the capital on July 4th, 2011. And we just wanted to let you know how much you appreciate it. And thanks for sharing your story and also in inspiring us today.